Okay? From the Offside Sports Club and beautiful Doha, Qatar, it's the 2014 World Nightball Championship.
the contest here on our main TV table, number nine, Abdul Wadi Hospital. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are at the semi-final stage of the World Nine Ball Championships here in Qatar. Sunny Qatar. And here we have Niels and Elmer lagging for the break. Joining me in the commentary box, one of the top players from Europe, Mr. Stefan Cohen. Welcome, Stefan. Welcome, David. Hi, everybody. What a great match we got coming up here. And Niels winning a leg straight away. It's very important to win the leg. Yes, because it's easy to make a ball on the break and you can put really big pressure on uh, your opponents. And uh, here is very, very important. He almost uh, frozen the, the eight ball on, on the rear. Yeah. It was a nice one. First rack, yeah. I mean, it was almost frozen. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the first rack there. Well, that's going to be a hard one. It's important. Get it's, yourself uh, moving. Very, very, very important. I mean, it's, it's, it's like... Um, you know, uh, you go horse racing or something, the first horse out of the blocks, you know, you're, you're in a sprint and the others have got to catch you up. So a little bit, you know, put your opponent really under the cosh straight away. Sure, sure. But uh, Elmer is uh, also ready for this match. I spoke to him earlier before we started and uh, he's really geared up like Neil. So both of them are really wanting this badly. Oh, yeah. This is the furthest both of these have made it in the world nine ball. Mm -hmm. So, okay. so far, the best result. Niels has had fifth prior, fifth, yeah. but way back in 2001. Oh, long so time ago. So, it's a right. long time ago, and long this is one ago. that Niels really wants. Oh, yes. And uh, Elmer, he hasn't actually made it into stage two prior to, to, prior <laughs> to this co uh, competition. Can you believe that? I mean, a <laughs> no. player like him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's playing Here very, we go. Very Niels breaking off in the first rack of the World Nine Ball Championship semi final. It's okay. made one off the oh, break. The two ball. There. The two ball. Mm -mm. Can he squeeze through the two and five? Maybe he can see it, but don't play the combo. I don't think so. No, no. Oh, no, he can see it. And ladies five. and gentlemen, over on table 12 is the other semi final between Yulong Chang and Albin Ocean. You can choose which match you want to watch. Here on table one, we have the commentary. Over on 12, unfortunately, we don't do commentary there. And uh, a little bit unfortunate that we can't have two semi-finals, one after the other, but I understand here in uh, Qatar today is there sort of a holy day. And yep, uh, a it. lot of them, it's like our Sunday back home. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And uh, it is really a very religious day for them. So uh, it's not possible to do that. Well, a little bit unfortunate, but you can still see some great action on both tables. Oops. Oh, Neil's just hitting a knuckle there. Yeah, it was a... Got a bit lucky, though. Mm -hmm. It was a safety... safety yeah, safe, huh? so yeah. <laughs> safety attempt, but uh, the knuckle helped him out. Yep. All right. As you can see, you don't have to break hard to make a ball on a break, so it will be a long match, and uh, but everybody uh, have a very good break, soft break here a soft enough well i mean we say soft break you've mm. still got to make the free point rule yeah but you know but you can sort of judge that you think to yeah, a certain it's, point it's okay i just made uh, in the uh, five rounds i just made one dry break so i mean okay but i mean you, you gotta still hit them quite hard yeah, though, yeah medium yeah? medium hard yeah medium, medium hard. to hard oops oh no that's not going down not now oh my well. they're just looking where the cue ball and the one has ended up. Uh, oh, okay. I think oh, yeah, that yeah. is enough that Niels can cut that in. Oh, sure a fine is. cut. Sure is. Cue ball's a little way from the top rail, so he'll be yeah. able to just jab the cue behind that, get a little bit the on there. The two for the three is a key key position because uh, there is a ball. We don't the even have to jab. That's the four the ball is a big pro the five ball, excuse me, is a big problem. 
to go two to three. Wants to stay low. That's looking nice. Even here, it's a, it's a small problem. Even here, so I think here he could uh, maybe use the five on the drawback here. Mm. Use the five and draw back. Although it'd be the wrong side of that three, that's not yeah, going to be good because of the eight ball is not good. So he has maybe to follow two rares if he can do it. Up behind the four, and then in between um, the eight and three, maybe. I will no, see. he's, I he's drawing back a little bit. Oh, spring bank. Okay, yeah, this is a three. That's or what I was just looking at. Oh. No, that looks like okay, a seven. Now we have a we have a great monitor here with some colours on there. Okay, so <laughs> it was a four ball. Okay, yeah, that's well. Okay, so Sorry there's no problem. That. Yeah, it's a four. We thought the rail, on the rail here at the bottom of the screen with us on the monitor, it looks like it's a red three. So we're going to have to take care of these colours, Stefan. Who's yep. going to play the four six bank? The six is easy to spot. We're getting old also. <laughs> oh, you speak for yourself. I'm getting younger. Okay, in my every years. Day. Oh yeah, every day. <laughs> I've reached a certain age, and now it's time to go backwards. <laughs> I'm young at heart, Stefan. <laughs> but here we have Niels with a four, five, seven, eight, and nine. The five seven is uh, it's not e it's not easy. You really have to be perfect on it because of the eight ball again. So. It's going to take his time because playing the five ball in the side pocket is maybe not a good idea there. He needs to get perfect position yeah. there, really. Yeah, if, he's to two, if he's one way or the other, it could be a problem. Exactly. So, so maybe he's going to play the, um, the, fi the, um, yeah, the five ball in the corner pocket. Yeah, down the bottom. Yeah. Corner pocket. Where maybe. the seven is eventually going to go, mm -hmm, we hope. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. With a slight angle to go to the, to the uh, long rail. Well, let's see. Yeah, that's it. He's, yeah. Oh, I'm not sure there. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's just about right there. He's okay. He Drop this five down into the corner. That's where he wants to leave the cue ball. Yeah. In between the eight and seven. Yeah, it was a tricky position. He's good there. See, Niels using his right eye, the right eye stronger than his left. Yeah, for outside of his right uh, yeah. eye. Yeah. Yeah. Outside. Yeah, it's, it's strange, amazing. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, really strange. Yeah. I've known Niels for many years. I see him as a youth player for the first time in Luxembourg in 1995. Whoa. <laughs> Going back some years there. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's come on leaps and bounds since then. Ah, he's playing very good. A nice angle on the eight to just get out of the rail, he has a choice, follow through or just draw this back. Yeah, draw. Go to the side pockets and you're perfect. And this to take first blood and a 1-0 lead against Elma De Gea of the Philippines. Gonna smash it. Bing. Bang. That's 1-0 for Niels. What a good start for this man. I only had the one shot there with a one after the break we have to squeeze between the two and the three and oh it was actually the two and the five and uh, got a little bit lucky knuckled there and uh, end up with a reasonable safety which elma tried to bank and uh, didn't work out and from then on niels Luc was in full control lucky or unlucky because it was a good safety and uh, because he hit the point he didn't uh, yeah that's the shot so we we're talking about there from elma yeah and some great replay and slow-mo shots here provided from Alcas, the TV station. We're actually sharing the feed. They are taking our overhead camera and we are taking a couple of their yeah, cameras. Yeah. So we can... Yeah. a good cooperation between the two. Good team. And nice thing is for Xavier that uh, the director of Alcas here is a Frenchman. Yeah. Yeah. So easy to communicate. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Xavier's English is pretty good, but you know what I mean. When you're dealing with techniques, you know, and technical stuff, oh, yeah. uh, you know, the right language is always a bonus. Yeah, you're right. So here we have Elma to break off in the second rack. I think he's working really uh, softer than, uh, than Nils. Really soft. He practices soft break. He's been practicing, yeah. Elma, yeah. So oh no, oh, that oh, seemed a bit... Oh, he did not use it, he did not no. use it, okay. Well, he's got the one... Uh, yeah, he's got a shot on the one. Okay. He's made the ball and 
The three-point roll is no problem. The one-two is uh, it's tricky. Yeah, cue ball near Very the rail tricky. there. Yep. The three is near from the corner pocket, so it, it will be okay, but the one-two is uh, it's not a gimme. Yeah, because he has to he has to follow and maybe pass between the eight and the nine with some left English, so he can miss the shot. That's, this is a tough one from here to get good position yeah. on the two. It's or miss the nine, maybe with no English. And maybe between them. Uh, that. Oh, yeah. Three rares. Wow, very good shot. Very good shot. It doesn't really want to be too straight on the two. He's got a bit of an angle. He get out just about where he is now, in the middle of the table. He can get between the six and seven. Yeah, he's got the right angle to do yeah. it. Just yeah. about the eight ball. Yeah, draw that back to the middle of the table, it'll be perfect. You see the three just under Elmer's arm. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, he's yeah. drawn it. Yeah, the second shot was uh, tricky. He was, that was trying to gain position for the three there. The pockets are tight, but looks he, yeah, it's nothing. Yeah, uh, too, too much of the rail and too hard there. With this speed, you, you really have to be perfect on the pocket. Really. But look what he's left Niels. Yep. Nothing. Yeah, but Niels can see the two, but uh, you really no, have, have to be one. very. I mean, happy to to play again. Oh yeah, on an sure. open table like yeah. that against a player like that because. Uh, oh yeah, I'm sure. Whatever Niels you have not to play. expect yeah. to be back here yeah. at the moment. Right. So, so it, this is a big moment here. You, it, this is a moment where you can uh, fight to, to to have the uh, the break of your opponent. You can win. Oh, this game? I'm not sure. No. Oh. A little mistake there from Niels. Oh. A little mistake. It, yeah, it was Leaving a Elmer moment. a good chance here. Didn't get enough of the two there, I think. He should have pushed that two a little bit further up the rail. Yeah. He puts a lot of English into the cue ball and curve a lot. Get surprised by that. Okay. Yeah. Not two mistakes in a row. No. That's why it was it's big time. Good he didn't bump into that five there on the rail. Or is it the four? The five three. on the rail there. It's a little bit straight on this three. A stroke again. Good stroke. Oh. Maybe too hard, no? Maybe a little bit. I think he'll be okay mm. just about, but probably a little bit harder than he wanted. Yep. Made this shot tough now. Again. Again. Made this shot tough for himself. Fourth time in a, in a row for a for dif difficult shot. Yeah. So. <laughs> Good oh, that nice shot. And the eight ball. Oh, and the eight ball. No. The eight ball has gotten <laughs> married to the nine. Oh no, they're not married. There's a bit of distance there. They're just engaged. <laughs> <laughs> they're not married yet. Very you nice still touch. Still see a gap between them. Very nice touch. But that was a terrific shot on the five. I don't know. Rolling if down the, the rail. The eight ball have a pocket. I don't. I don't think so. Not even in the side pocket. Nowhere. I think he, he, he side, has a side. Know. As we look at uh, when we look from the bottom yeah. rail behind the nine, I think he has. Hmm. Oh, oh no, hmm. that, is tough. Know, sure. that is a tough one. <laughs> yeah. But he's got to get perfect position for the eight. Mm. You get to make the six first. And the six. Jack seven. up. <laughs> Jack up like that on the six when you get nervous. He wants to stay a little bit high on the seven. Not that high yeah. though. That's control of the cue ball. Yeah. He just wanted to kill the cue ball there. He would have been fine a little bit high on the seven to get back down. So for the eight. So now. It's going to be interesting to see what Elmer can pull out of the hat. Yeah, because here it's a funny position. The eight ball doesn't pass, so why you should you shouldn't take a risk on the seven. I mean, so well, well, I mean, Stefan, if you were in this situation, I mean, would you try and play safe from here? I mean, yep. that, that, yeah, from here, yes, really because really you, you have no reward to make the seven ball if you get the safe. Of he's course, I think he's trying to uh, maybe he's got an angle. I don't know. Bank and break. No. He's uh, going yeah. straight in. You see, I, I don't like cue the ball. this decision. And the cue ball. Oh. Well, <laughs> I don't like this decision. I mean, it's tough That's shot strange, for tough yeah. position for a ball that doesn't pass. I mean, in the balance. Uh, 
Yeah. Pretty, fair, but, pretty safe. But I mean, he's got That's away with it now because Niels has now got the same problem. I yeah, mean, the well difference is he has a nice a bank, a cross bank here, mm -hmm. which would automatically bring the cue ball round the back of this eight and nine. Mm -hmm. It will be, I mean, maybe. Oh, it's a tough ask. It can make the seven ball behind the eight nine and separates, you know? Separate yeah, the sure. Cue ball, the sure. distance between the cue ball and the because seven. You're right, you can bank it, and, uh, but I, th I think you can play safe on this uh, one. I don't know. It's yeah, I yeah. think Niels is playing safe here. Yeah. 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 Maybe. yeah. Taking behind no chances. the eight nine. Taking no chances. That's Perfect. a great shot there from Niels. Very good shot. Really good shot. I think Elmer can just clip the seven. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but nothing what? else, you know. <laughs> yeah. enough, you know, nothing there. Elmer should have thought of that in his shot. <laughs> yeah. You know, instead of trying to force the issue, force the seven into the middle and try to get position. Mike Siegel say, uh, uh, sometimes it's better you open and see the ball. Like that, you can try something with the ball, you know, yeah. and uh, make the mistake. Oh no, Elmer! Yeah. It looks like Elmer can't see it then. So I don't know. Maybe he see it, but. It's better to play cushion first there. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe he gets lucky, but the, the thing is, something's got to happen with the eight and nine, because yeah, he at can't this touch. pace... Oh, Ooh. he's missed completely. Completely missed, and this gives Niels an opportunity to put a little bit of distance between himself and Elmer. So, yeah, he has to f solve this problem first. I mean, if the yeah. eight ball doesn't pass the side pocket... You could, I mean, I uh, be, the seven is off the cushion there. You could Looks uh, tricky. stick the cue ball on the cushion, play it across where he's coming now, play it across to the corner and actually break the eight and nine out. But if Niels can see that that eight goes somewhere, yep. so he'd rather do that. One rear and out. Yeah, you see, that's what I was looking at first, but it didn't look like it was going to go. And even then, you need perfect position for it. Yep. The referee is watching the shots. Yeah. We if the nine move, it's a foul, automatic foul. Yeah. Yeah, nine should not move here, which it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay, so. And perfect position on the nine for Niels to take a two nil lead. And All there right. we have it. A uh, nice little distance. Always good to steal a, frac a rack from your opponent's break like a serve in tennis you know exactly. taking a serve away that's why the, the first safety on the two ball uh needs play was very important and he missed it and but yeah uh, but i think the mistake there was from elma on the seven there forcing mm. the issue should have taken your advice there maybe i don't know because sometimes you play safe and you lost the game because you play safe so yeah, but the situation <laughs> yeah. there, Stefan, with the eight and nine yeah. almost mm -hmm. together, you know, it's um, mm -hmm. it's like you said, you need a perfect position. And the only way I think Niels had a real chance of getting per perfect position there is having ball in hand. Yes, exactly. Seven down the bottom. There is another point also, it says, uh, in ten ball, for sure, you have to play safe because after your, your safety, your opponent has to, to uh, call the shots. Yeah. In nine ball, he, he could play very hard and get lucky. Yeah, yeah. So... But even, you know, I mean, where the seven ended up was yeah. perfect for Niels, because yeah. if the seven had been up the other end of the table, there's a lot of distance for that cue ball to travel to get the perfect position. Yeah, for sure, eight. sure, sure. It was so, you know, I mean, the way that went with Elmer playing that and the seven ending up down there, that, mm. you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Here we have Niels breaking off in the third rack of this semi-final. Just having a look over on the other table, and Alvin Ocean is 2 0 up against Cheng Yu Lung. I apologize already if the pronunciations are not the correct way. Mm. This is uh, yeah. cleaning the. A little bit of chalk dust, as McEnroe used to say <laughs> in tennis. Oh, yeah? Chalk dust. <laughs> <laughs> Before before all the technology came in and they used to rely on, you know, did the ball hit the line or not, and he used to say, you can see chalk dust, <laughs> you know. They made a song about it, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. If you Google a little bit with Mac and Rose, you know, chalk dust song, you'll find it. <laughs> I will. Okay, very good break there. Yeah. Nine ball move, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah nine ball move. See, Watch look at that cue ball, the two power. Ball, the two ball from behind, bing. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, it's the only way the nine ball's moving with mm -hmm. these magic racks. Mm -hmm. It's uh, with a kick from somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, I made one. But they've been having problems with the racking here, the referees and the magic racks. Did you see, when you were playing here, did you see too much about it? Yeah, I, I don't understand why. Because I, I just need five seconds to make a rack with the magic rack, so I really don't understand why. Okay, I mean, I, you know, there is something we have similar problems sometimes at the European Championships, and the referees are wearing gloves. Maybe, yeah. We're not. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And I went there with a head referee yesterday and talked with him a little bit about the rack, give him some tips that, you know, if two balls are not frozen, swap them around and things like this. Mm -hmm. And with your bare hands, you know, no gloves on, you make the rack in like 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. You know, okay, 10 seconds, but you know yeah. what I mean. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, but then you put gloves on, and because you're not getting no sort of friction between the balls, mm -hmm. you're just stroking, you're caressing the balls with a cloth. So there could be something behind that. I said uh, to the head referee, I said, you know, get the referees to take the gloves off yep. even. The players yeah, wouldn't mind, yeah. you know. They would prefer that the rack is done quick yeah, than wait it. five minutes, you know, For just the, because uh, of gloves. Reasons. So I really do believe there's something in the wearing of the gloves because we have a similar problem sometimes at the European Championships. Big position here, the four, for the five, because of the eight ball and the six ball, doesn't pass the nine. I don't. I'm yeah. not sure about. Mm. Could he try a combination oh. on that? Uh, yeah, big no. draw. I mean, uh, big draw here. A big draw oh, and wow. pass the line of the five. It's a priority. Wow. Exactly. Keep there. off of that rail. Perfect. You want to stay off the rail. It's perfect. It's tough, but it's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. He's only got to roll the five in, doesn't have yeah. to do anything. Of course, don't end up behind the nine ball, but he's got space on the table. There is a huge area. Yeah, very clean where, uh, shots. Yeah, made, huh? huge area on this table where Niels could keep the cue ball and still have a good position on the six. Just needs to roll and drop this five in the middle. Yeah, you don't want to play too soft. No, no. Because... Uh, it's better to be out in the table, you get a clear shot, than maybe bump the nine, end up behind the nine, or... Nice you. Maybe a, a little bit too much power on that one, but he's fine. No, yeah, I think he's okay. Mm -hmm. Just roll the six in. And you have automatic position on the eight. Okay. Oh, oh don't oh, want oh, to oh, travel oh, too oh, far. Oh, oh. Is okay, it's another it's option. Okay, I think he's still gonna take it down this bottom pocket, come across table with a cue ball just before the middle pocket with a lot of left English. The six ball goes into the uh, thin side, yeah, of the yeah. pocket. That's why it's a little, yeah. little longer. Use the whole of the pocket there, the right hand side of the pocket. Oh, you want he Playing to two, be maybe three rails. Oh, no, it's <gasps> no good. No, no, it's no good. Wow. He's far away from uh, to make it. Where is this going to be? Small. He knows that was a golden opportunity. Yeah, he put some reverse in dish, so he touched, uh, he touched the, the eight ball too thin. And uh, this is a trap of the shots, I mean. Wow. Yeah. What a mistake from Niels. Could have had a 3-0 lead. Yeah, that time. would have been beautiful in mm. this semi-final. Perfect. And talking about a 3-0 lead, Albin Ocean is 3-0 up against Chang. We could have an all-European final yep. in the World Championships, <laughs> and I think, I don't know, you have to go back in the records, and I don't have them in front of me, but I think that could be a first at a World Nine Ball Championships oh, all-European yeah. final. There's Elma reducing the lead, now trailing Niels by only one. Okay. Two games to one. Uh, just looking back through the results here. And, uh, of course, we started with group matches. And Elmer beat his fellow countryman, Lee Van Cortez, a 9-2. Yeah, it was a very great match. He, yeah. He, uh, I saw didn't the match miss the ball, did he? It, uh, no, no, mistakes no, I don't think in that so. Uh, it, no uh, mistakes in that. Yeah, it was a very good that match. That was really unbelievable match. And then his next match in the group stage played our European fellow... Artem Koshovoy from oh, the Ukraine, Kosh. and what a tight one there. Artem had him on the rails and uh, couldn't finish him off. Ended up losing 9-8, which uh, put Elma into the knockout stage. And from then on, in the knockout stage to get here, played three fellow countrymen. 
wow. three Filipinos to get here and one yeah. one Japanese <laughs> beating throw. Francisco Feliz Felicilda 11-4 and then uh, Hikiato Hayato he won that one 11-8 same score line in, in his next two matches as well against Raymond Farron and Johan Chua yesterday Chua who was a big surprise here yeah coming yeah, through the qualifiers yeah but it's a very good the, player very good player and only because there was cancellations can you believe that <laughs> you know and he got to the last eight of the world nine ball championships uh, they had three qualifying three chances here in the qualifiers and he missed all three <laughs> but because That's he was uh, he just missed out on them he got some points like they gave points for the position you finished and he and along with um, Faron actually uh, were the lucky losers if I remember correctly but Elmer there okay, making nice the ball off the break a nice yeah. layout yep nice breaks the one two is position is uh, the key key position of the table yeah because of the six eight and three up there he's got to avoid that traffic I guess the one two three you will be tricky so but the one two first I don't know what is, what he can do if two rares looks like no he's going to try put a little bit English go between the six and eight yeah that's it two rails. three rails that's it okay and back down nice shot there actually using four rails in the end but that's perfect Okay, now, now he he's got another problem here. Three so. ball, I don't know. Should, should pass in the three? I don't know. Passes the three, I don't know. So I think he may have to put a little bit of draw on this. Come up the that side of the nine on the other side. Put mm -hmm. a bit draw. Come on to the, bring the cue ball onto the rail near the middle pocket, maybe. Because if he's going to try and go through. He's got to contend with no, missing the four and he five, so he's got to draw here. That's the draw. Avoid the nine ball and the Oh no. Oh, oh, so she so passes. Okay. Wow. From our monitor there, I didn't yep. think the three passed the <laughs> six, but it must do. Otherwise, he wouldn't be sitting there. But now, that's a tight one, though. No, there's not a lot of pocket to use. Doesn't have to do too much with the cue ball, because a four just. Kill the cue ball there if he likes. Yeah. You still need. Oh, oh I oh, missed. Oh, 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 oh. There. Where's the three going? Is Neil's going to get a shot on the three? I think can he can see it. See it. I don't know if he can. Can he pot it. it? No. We shall soon find out. Oh, a lot of mistakes uh, in this match uh, in the beginning. Yeah? A lot of pressure. Yeah. Huh? The nerves are kicking yeah. in. <laughs> Really kicking in. Yeah. Elma, knowing that that mistake, he already received a little gift from Niels in the last rack. Yep. And now he's given the present back. Okay, so. Thin. And come back. Or. Yeah, I think. Maybe he can make it, I don't know. I don't know. From here, it's impossible to say. If he can see all the ball, he can. Keep the cue ball there. Oh, he could make it. Oh, he can make okay. it. Wow. Okay. What a nice shot. Couldn't really see that from our monitor. Uh, exact angles you can only see once you're at the table if you can get past that or not. Roll the four down the cushion. Five in the same pocket. Got no worries about the middle pocket here as long as he just plays center cue ball. A little bit right English, a small amount. Nice touch. Nicely done. Perfect. Here he can draw on the five to get back up the table a bit. Doesn't want too much. Wants to be a little bit closer than his last six ball. The attempt where he oh, got yeah. bad position on the eight there. No, just wants to be a little bit closer. <clears throat> but it's a, a pretty straightforward shot here they clean the cue the, the they clean the cue ball and the balls of course so the cue ball yeah is there is a lot of speed yeah on the cue ball so to make a draw like that you, you didn't have to you don't have to force i mean so you know and 
Neil's probably very surprised he's back at the table here. He yep. would have had a three game advantage. Gave one to Elma, and now Elmer's gave him one back. Perfect. This to take a 3-1 lead, which is the same score in the other semi-final, where Albin Ocean is 3-1 up against Chang. Yeah, I was uh, looking at Neil's opponents. He was in the group six, actually. Played uh, Eric Lee from Hong Kong and beat him 9-4. And then came up against Warren Kiamko, mm -hmm. which Neil's eliminated 9-5. Mm. And the most racks so far anybody has taken off of Neil's in this tournament is seven. And that was in his last match against Carlo Biado. So Niels has really been steamrolling oh, these yeah. players here. He's solid. He beat uh, Al Rimawi, Salah Hildin, 11-4. He's from the United Arab Emirates before taking on Poland's Radoslav Babica, of which Niels made Babica sit in his chair a fair bit, won that match 11-6. He took on Austria's Mario He. There we have the directors and secretaries from the Qatari Billiards and Snooker Federation, the kind gentlemen who have provided this great streaming for you. And of course, the great world championships. And if you do want to thank anybody for this streaming, of course, Kazoom, the quality of Kazoom is here, but it is the Qatari Billiards and Snooker Federation who are the providers and have paid for this to happen for all you people so you can click on the qatari billiards and snooker federation website and there is a contact us button who knows if they get enough thank yous they might do this again next year all free mm. that'll be terrific mm -hmm, huh? mm -hmm. that would be terrific the best tournament on the planet available to everyone on the planet Yeah, funny position there. Maybe can make the one ball behind the four, something like that. Yeah, I think <laughs> one ball behind the four. Yeah, I'd certainly send the one up to the cushion, not the cue mm. ball, because mm. uh, then the one's going to be coming out in the middle of the table somewhere. Yeah, it's you know, tough shot. or not the middle, but you know, out into the table, into the open. Better that the one ball is certainly near the top rail. Yeah, the problem with this is this break when you are breaking too hard. Yeah, we have a picture of, of some of the audience. There will be more coming in later, so I have been told. Apparently, we're going to have a packed audience there. They are waving at you all. <laughs> These are the lucky ones. They're here live and watching this great event. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's got a tricky position. Send the one up. Up. You know, in the middle of the table, in the middle and diamond of that rail. Top rail to the left of the screen as we look at it. Got to keep the one ball there. Oh, oh touch a six. it's such a six. Yeah, because he, he has to, to avoid the five ball with the cue ball and uh, he has yeah. to, to touch a lot of one ball. So mm, it's not a good shot. It's a, an opportunity for the Philippine guy. Yeah, Elmer has a chance here. Not an easy and if shot. he plays, yeah, if uh, just, just trying to, to look at the angle, if he just plays this, just make no ball. English or anything, just make the ball, he should avoid the four and get back down here for the two, down towards the eight. What G8, yeah. What G8, oh, okay. Yeah, he's okay. And he's okay. Natural angle, maybe to go two rails around the four. Yeah. Then it would be easy. Yeah, if he plays the two rails here, he's going to be got. No, he oh. looks like he's drawing. Okay. Maybe the angle's not good for him at the table. For us, it is on the monitor. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, there's a shot we didn't <laughs> think of there. Yeah, with the screens. But I think he's quite straight here. See how the cue ball slides there in yep. the slow mo picture? Just sliding across the oh, cloth yeah. before it takes friction and starts in a forward motion. 
Ooh, ooh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. Five across center. I think just if we can leave the cue ball where the five is there, just kill the cue ball dead. He'll have a nice angle on the six. Six and seven can go in the same pocket. He just kills the cue ball. Good angle on the six. Use the top rail to come back down. Looks nervous. He Looks does. Yeah. He does look nervous. Even for a easy lay layout like, like that, he's very nervous. Look but at it him. is pressure. <laughs> it is pressure out there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you got a hundred or so people in here and a few more coming. And uh, who knows, 10,000 out there watching. I'm sure there are a lot of Filipino fans on the chat and watching on the live stream, as well as all the Dutch and the Danish, actually, mm -hmm. because of uh, Neil's wife, Catherine. I hope you're watching, Catherine, and enjoying this tremendous moment from your husband. Look at him shaking there. Did you see that? And the ball oh, rattled. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. He knows it as well. Nice <laughs> <little sp> <laughs> That's nerves. That's pressure. Harder, it would be a mistake. Yeah. yeah. And all you guys and girls out there saying, yeah, I can make that any day. And you probably could <laughs> in the pool room yeah. when you're playing with your friends and for fun. For sure. But out here in the World Championship semi-final, them pockets are small. Yeah, I big, tell you, they are small. Big part of the game, huh? of course. Yeah, of course. it's pressure. Who can yeah. handle the pressure? You know, that that's a big thing in this game. It's having the nerves. Well, there we have the break there. It was a good break. Neil's not really getting the safety. Yep. And Elmer capitalizing. Good Playing shot there. A good the shot there. That was, that was a real key shot. And the rest was elementary. But yeah, it's uh, a real great feeling to be here for the players. I think a lot of them enjoyed it. Of course, they don't enjoy it when they lose and they have to go home. But in principle, you know, I mean, the, the organization here has been pretty good. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. So, um, you know, they're improving every year. And that's that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. If you're going backwards every year, that's a bad thing. You know, and there are still some small things, but they know it. And they are really trying to improve. No, yeah. They have a contract here until 2017. So I'm sure next year we're going to see something better and better and better. And they really want to learn. So that's a good thing. I like that. Yeah. And they're, when they're open to uh, new ideas, new ways of doing things, that's always a good thing. I mean, look at this streaming. It's all been set up this year, and it's been perfect. No, it's perfect. So, you know, that's something. And I don't think that they will not do it next year. Yeah. Well, you know, so they've got to do it. Here we have Elma breaking off needing uh, this rack to tie the match okay what a break what a break okay this wow, looks the five like another yeah. good open the five for the six is a key position you have to come back in the center of the table with the cue ball to do it yeah go behind the six uh, go behind the seven to get onto the six when he gets there, but he's got the two and three to take care of first. Yeah, two, three, so. Yeah, he has to go under the three, I mean, stay under the three to, to yeah. go one where for the fireball. Yeah, stay high on the three. Exactly here. Just then about there, that's natural. perfect. He can follow the line of the five now. And get perfect on the five. Yeah, he's just looking there where he wants to come off the cushion and where he wants the cue ball to go. He's looking there to keep the cue ball that side. Yeah. So obviously there's side, a yeah. lot of space. Yeah. Okay. In the center of the table, yeah. I thought maybe it used from that position, maybe it'd come behind the seven. And the oh, no, I know. No, no, because no, no. it goes past the nine there and he has a choice there Oof. at the bottom. No, yeah, no, no, no. It's, uh, no, no, it's natural here. You follow the line of the five. Then you get a good angle for him to, to go just for back for six. Come out too far on the table, that seven would have obstructed him, but he's okay there. 
can draw the cue ball back up the table for the six. Just about the eight ball and it's okay. Oh, oh. it touched the eight ball. So the eight nine now is, is yeah, nothing. That's gonna be a little bit more yeah. interesting. I mean it's still shouldn't be a problem. But you you know you've made it a lot harder than what it was. Didn't really want to have contact with eight. Just again, a little bit a draw and left English on this. Doesn't have to be hard. Just to get out in the right position in the middle. Okay, perfect. That's looking good for Elmer. Just empty in the pockets. Make sure nothing in there. That's going to make that seven jump out. Although he shouldn't be playing this too hard. He needs needs a little bit of angle on the eight. So I think he'll just be killing the cue ball where the seven is. Yeah, go one ball and goal would be perfect. Oh. Like that. One ball and goal. Yeah. I thought he needed a little bit more angle there. No, because the A-ball is very close to the rear. You're going to bounce the, the rear anyway, very fast. So you just need this angle, you will be perfect on the nine. So just a draw back here. Draw the cue ball back. And he'll have a shot on the nine to level this match. Let's see if his arm's shaking as much as it was before. He's nervous. Huh? He is nervous. <laughs> I'm sure both of them are. But oh. uh, Elmer seems to be showing it a little bit more at the moment. Maybe it's uh, his style. I don't know. I don't know him. But uh, it looks... Uh, can I punch yeah. it? Bing. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and the audience have woken up, Stefan. They yeah. can see their man coming back. Yeah, yeah. 3-3. <laughs> 3-3 three, three. Three, three now in this semi-final. It could be 5-0 for Niels. Huh? Could be. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think Niels knows that. There you go. There's more people coming in as we speak. And the stars of the future as well. The young little boy there with his daddy. But his daddy's saying, hey, son, you watch them boys and you're going to be there in 15, 20 years' time. That'll be a proud moment, I'm sure. Oh, he said to him, uh, play golf in the pool. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> you, you can always advise them. But then again, they do what they want. Yeah, of you course. Know, so of course. They, they, they will do what they want. It's, uh, you can always advise them. You see the cue ball jump in there. Yeah, wow. I was watching the guy, and the guy was almost yeah. <laughs> was so nervous. I mean, yeah. he moved his legs. And yeah, everything, everything moved there. <laughs> everything <laughs> moved. On the stuff shot. So <laughs> maybe Niels, just checking the table. Here seems to be a lot of dirt and dust on there. Yeah, yeah. And Neil's not happy with a rack at the moment. <laughs> Let's see what it is. The three and the four. Well, if it's like. up the front there, then he has to deal with it. See, this is what I mean about the gloves. You see, yeah. it's all smooth touching, you know? It, it's it, yeah. You're just caressing the ball. Okay, okay. Where, uh, where with bare fingers, you, you know, you can actually move the ball. Yeah. I know it sounds weird, but that's the only explanation that I can give. Because yesterday I tried it with the head referee, and you do it with gloves, and it takes longer to do it with gloves than okay. it does without. I never so wear gloves, so... No, players don't, you see, that's what I mean. You yeah. put them all together and say, hey, what are you doing? You know, I can do this quick. Oh, yeah, in five you seconds, know? I mean... So, you know, and that's why I tried it with the head referee. I explained yeah. to him, you know, the gloves could be a problem. I don't know for sure, No, but I it's strange know. when I put gloves on, it takes me longer to make the rack than it does when I don't wear gloves. Mm -hmm. But uh, he didn't want the referees to take their gloves off. You know, okay. he said, this is the World Championships and things. I tried to explain it's better to make a rack quicker with no gloves than it is to spend five minutes making a rack. So hopefully they've got it sorted today. And because we are break, breaking soft, it's very, very important for the rack is perfect. Yeah. Because uh, of the three balls behind the kitchen line. Yeah. I really wish there was a solution 
to these devices that you didn't have to use the device. I mean, we tapped the tables in Europe, you, you know, because mm -hmm. of the, mm -hmm. the problems with making a racks with triangles. You have wooden ones, uh, plastic ones, metal ones. We've tried the lot and uh, so many problems with Very uh, soft break here. the racking. But if there is a solution out there, mm -hmm. that would be a great idea. Bring back the racks, get rid of these devices, but until there's a solution to making them, mm. the game has changed. Since these yep. devices have come along, the game has changed. Yeah, I mean, the rules actually say the balls must be as close to each other as possible. Yeah. But all players are asking for them frozen. Of course, that's a because, big, big yeah, difference. Big. You know, you're using these devices, and that's the problem. If you didn't use the device, you could argue that, hey, that's the best you're going to get. But because you're using a device, oh, one rack could be frozen, the next one not. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's hard to accept. Yeah, yeah, it's not... Uh, when it's your job, it's very hard to accept. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so here's Niels, with a good opportunity. Yeah, very, very easy rack here. Yeah. Needs to draw out, maybe yeah. draw back into the seven. The three six is a little bit tricky. He has to decide something, and that's it. I mean, it's going to make a mistake. Yeah, no, I think it, if, mistake if from here. here, if the position he's got, if he can draw that cue ball back after playing a two, and just bump Between into the, the seven, maybe mm. he has a straight shot on the three. Yeah, um, uh, I'm in a position for three to go uh, between the six and nine. You see what I mean? If the angle there looks yep. to me like he could draw that cue ball back. What? And eight. just eight. No. the eight or yeah. Ideally, you don't want to be bumping into any balls when you're playing any billiard. Yeah, sometimes game, you have to unless it's necessary to break clusters and things. But yeah. if you have oh, so it's not a good open chance. tables, no, I think he's gone a little bit low there. Here to go into the nine was maybe a good idea, but uh, I was just thinking one ahead, Stefan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's got a lot of angle here, yes, because he touched the nine and. But oh, looks like oh, okay. This, this camera is better. Go into the eight. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Wow. Two, yeah. two semi-finals at the moment, and both tied at three apiece. Three, three, both semi-finals. Okay, he's got an angle on the seven. Maybe go one rear, come back in the center of the table, maybe. Or he can play the A ball in the side pocket. I don't think so. I don't know. From here, yeah, it's a hard one here. Oh, you got a couple of choices, but up. yeah, he's he's jacking up. Oh, oh no, Niels, no, Niels, man. Niels! Man, wow! Did you see Elmer there? He was shaking his hands there. Wow! You know, couldn't believe it. It was an easy rack, and uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, come on, yep. Niels! You're making some mistakes here, buddy, and you cannot afford to do so. Because the nerves of this guy will disappear as soon as he gets a sniff of a chance. Okay, uh, he leave a very easy, easy thing to to do. It's a yeah, it's just a stop. Yeah, so stop and shoot and you stop. don't ask uh, something yeah. to your opponents, you know. Just here, uh, here, he has a choice of going a couple of rails or drawing a cross table. Oh, it's, yeah, it's tricky. Going close to the middle pocket with a cue ball and back down here sort of almost a bit lower to where the cue ball is actually now I think he's going to do that shot go across table and back and leave the cue ball about where his hand is one rear oh, 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 oh. again again to thin again. again yeah he is a dicing with death and these pockets he is really really taking <laughs> chances Wow. Okay, I mean, he's still. He's so nervous. Looks like he can miss shot any here. shot. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. That's a. 
the confidence is not there. But that's what I mean. If Niels keeps making mistakes, it's going to give his confidence a, oh, you know, yeah. a, a real boost. You know, there you have the fans of Elma. Uh, I think the fans of Niels are all back home watching on the live stream. I'm sure when he wins, they're all clapping too. This is here. Yeah, he touched the nine, but not enough. Uh, then gets a lot of angle. Yeah. Looks like I thought just roll the ball to come back into the center, but yeah. he wanted to go around the eight yeah. with the cue ball. Apparently, he missed it. Okay. It's one of the best in the world when uh, you have to jack up. Yeah. Nils. And but if, um, uh, surprise, he missed it. When you watch Elmer next, and uh, he plays a shot, his hand moves straight. As soon as that cue ball's gone, his hand is moving. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Every, it's like everything's, everything's up, moving. you know. It's, it's really strange to watch, because really, you, your hand, you should be still there, yeah, you yeah. know, when that ball's going. Not him. But uh, Elmer's hand is sort of shaking. It's like he's got a twitch or something. But it's immediate. As soon as he plays a shot, his hand is gone. This was a mistake from Niels. It yeah. cost him that frame. And the, look, see Elmer's hand there. Yeah, see? Straight yeah. away. Mm -hmm. It's instant. It's really uh, strange to watch. Nervous. There you can see the fabulous setup here we have. With all the cameras at every angle around the table. break and he's got a shot on the one as well a hard one cue ball is frozen uh, yeah the one, one two is a key so if uh, he's got position on the two yeah two be because okay, the cue ball is frozen to the cushion yep. or almost touching it if it makes this shot so much more difficult if you jack up on this one it's a very very tough shot so i don't know if you can even get the cue in there to jack up mm -mm. maybe he has to because yeah. natural path for uh, for the cue ball is very bad take the risk now yeah yeah he's, he's got a little bit of space there it's very this tough is shot. tough yeah. and he's rattled a few before yeah and he's fast. missed that one not yeah. even a rattle on that one he missed that by a mile mm -hmm. That's wow, that was a tough one. That was always going to be a tough shot. Uh, mistakes coming from both players still here, but that was a tough shot. Yeah, this one was. I don't know that. I don't know if that. I mean, it's a mistake that you missed, but I don't think it's a, a mistake like they have been playing. That was a real tough shot there. Good opportunity for Nice to come back. <laughs> Tricky just one looking, to go again. Yeah, it's just looking very. <laughs> Use the cue ball. Send the cue ball. I don't know if you can round behind eight. I think. Yeah, I don't know if you can draw past the between six. the eight and the six. Draw. Mm, I don't, I don't know. know about that. Yeah, we'll I think see. He uh, was looking a minute ago to maybe go round. With new maybe. cloth and new ball. It's possible to play it like that. You know. Yeah. Between the eight and the six. Yeah. Very good stroke there. Not too hard because too hard you you will hit the eight ball. And. Uh, Different, yeah. Very good stroke there. They've got a good angle now on the two. Yeah, just uh, stay focused. It will be, it will be good. I don't know if the six ball passes the eight, but uh, this is the only problem. This under pressure. I don't think the six will pass the eight. Yeah, from no. that angle. If it does. Yeah, I don't think you so. You know, he has a millimeter to play with, yeah. and that's a dangerous, yep. dangerous thing to have to do there. You're going to be using the whole pocket. Struggling a little bit. Nils. Yeah, control of the cue ball is not really he's with nervous, him at the moment. He missed some easy things, and yeah. so now he's nervous. The good thing is he's got the natural angle here when he takes his yep. three. 
But I'll send the cue ball back to where it is at the moment. Good shot. Okay, he's back. He's back. The Terminator is back. <laughs> and Neil's a long time sponsored by Longoni and Longens. And of course, Kamui. I'm sure they are all watching him with eager anticipation here. Are they going to get another World Championship title to be proud of too? Neil's already having the straight ball World Championships in his bag and that was back in, I think, 2007 or 8, the World yeah, Straight Ball like Championships. But the nine ball is the one everybody wants. Is short or... Yeah, it's a little bit short. Yeah, yep. it's okay. You can go behind eight here, use three rails and get back out to about where he is now. Yeah. So he just to. wants to go past the eight, three rails and back out to where he is. All right. Perfect. Looking good now to tie this match up at four apiece. There you have it, this nine. And the match is all tied and we have a race to seven. The races are getting shorter at these World Championships, Stefan. Yeah, okay. As long as it stays like this, it's the races are going to be shorter. Just looking over on the other semi-final table, we have a a little bit of a view from where we are here and Albin Ocean is still got his nose in front leading four games to three over Chang Yu Lung from Taipei and Albin is the current European nine ball champion so what a feat this would be to add the world nine ball championships to his belt yep two in the same year i don't think so i mm -mm. don't think we've had a european nine ball champion who goes on in the same year to win the world nine ball championship so that would be one for the record books if albin can make it but first he's got to get past the talented taiwanese of chang beautiful uh, beautiful uh, slow motion oh what a good teamwork here from alcas and kazoom to provide you these great slow-mo and replay action. Of course, Kazoom can do that with their own equipment when they bring it all, but it was not required here. Because of the TV, there was an agreement before that we didn't have to bring all the equipment so that we could share a little bit of the feed. A lot of people are asking about Kazoom, could they go to America or here, there and everywhere? And I said, yeah, they can go anywhere. You anywhere. only got to ask. We did? We did it? Yep. We did it uh, in uh, Las Vegas. Yep, you've for only got to ask. For that so or 10 ball. It was nice. And uh, yeah, of course. And Niels is worried about the gap there with the front two balls, which is important. Referee telling Niels he can't touch them, which is <laughs> fair enough. You know, that's fair enough. He wants to. <laughs> yeah, he wants to. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the thing is, some players have got it into a habit now. I know, you know, yeah. Ralph, Ralph is a big one for that. You yeah, know, yeah. He's, he's always touching the balls, and half the time you don't need to. It's just become a habit. Like Archer empties pockets, mm -hmm. you know, it's a habit. You know? Yeah, sure. Ah, it's so important. I mean, you don't want to... You want to control like you can control. And, uh, yeah. It's uh, one thing you can control. It's the one coming out. It is very look good at speed. The two, look yeah, the where two the seven. nines ended up. That's the furthest I've seen the nine travel. Yep, for a long time here. The nine is up on the top rail there. But oh, look okay. at the two. This is the problem. The yep. two ball. Yep, yep. I don't think it goes past the seven. Nope. Uh, he has to play the combination if he wants to 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 be aggressive. <laughs> Maybe he can draw from here into the three, two rears, and see what happens. Or come back into the center of the table to play the two th seven combination. Yeah, that's a tough one, though, mm. Stefan, the two seven. 
Oh yeah, of course. It's a real tough one. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, but then you know, where do you get a safety from? Uh, one, yeah, one you could possibly. Depends on the position. Let's see where he goes with a yeah, one. Yeah, that's it. Because this will determine what he's going to do. To rears and come back to the center of the table to play the combo, and see what happens. I mean, depend the position you get. Okay, or oh, my look first trust. I missed the three. Yeah. Hasn't. It was my first trust. That was unlucky there mm -hmm. from Niels. Needed to miss the three, get behind, and he would have been. Okay, on the two, but now it's easy to touch. It's, it's a tough one. Well, easy to touch, but look at that. What you can do? What maybe do you do from here? Maybe stop the cue ball right here. Try to make to make the two. It's uh, the only choice. Yeah, draw. come one rail, draw, and uh, that's what he's looking at there. Maybe a little bit. Oh, he's looking a little bit of a one rail carom shot, maybe. Yep. Coming yeah. off the two, that's a hard one. Uh, seven is a. Uh, but uh, no, maybe using a seven to stop the cue ball. Mm. Maybe using a seven. I would certainly, if the eight wasn't there, you could have a two rail escape. No. Go across, bottom rail come up, and hopefully just roll nicely into the two to send it onto the cushion. That would be perfect, but I think the eight ball is just stopping that shot. Yeah, you have you have to be sure to touch the two and uh, not giving ball in hand on this one. Yeah, no, this ball is in hand is, is, a, is a disaster. Big part. Maybe try to make it from here. So. It's going to go short rail. I think that's the safe, uh, safe distance, safety. Just option. draw and it can, it can, it can stay go. behind the three. It can stay, it can stick the cue ball behind the three from here. Yeah, I have to be perfect. Uh, no, he tried to play the seven there. Mm, okay. I think it, it, uh, was, it was good, but yeah, tough shot, yeah. very tough shot. Yeah, very tough and shot. Now Elmer. Okay. With another chance. It's been a game of errors so far. Had a uh, few good racks, but then quite a few mistakes from both players. Yeah, some very tough, tough thing to do today. One rare and good. Still, still tough. Eh? Maybe you go to the same pocket for uh, for the four. You have to be playing. A lot of top English on this. All right, all right. He's between. Yeah, he's left. Yeah, he's left himself. his between mm -hmm. shots here. Yeah. And look at the nine. That's gonna could cause him a little bit of a problem. So the seven is big. So just make the four. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's the most important here yeah. for Elmer. Just make the four because the seven, providing you don't end up on the bottom rail, that seven is ready to be sunk. Oh, he's missed. Yeah, yeah, he's missed. Wow. See, that was just trying to avoid the nine there, putting <coughs> a bottom. He was in between shots there for that position. Yep. Didn't get enough top English when playing. Oh, I jumped up. The three to get up there. But he's jumping up. That's, that's what I'm saying. He's up and down like a yo-yo. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> you know, so if you look at his hand, especially, okay, your body movement you can sort of get away with some people actually play like that but his hand if you watch the next time he has his hand on the table solid base yet as soon as that cue ball has left you know as soon as your cue has touched the yeah, cue ball so his hand is shaking mm -hmm. and up in the air and it's not the rhythm of the match give uh, give him a good rhythm now it's a uh, yeah it's yeah. tricky for both i mean they are nervous both uh, Looks like if he's got something, something hard to do, he will miss it. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Look like. Yeah. And for those of you who have just joined us, the score at the moment is 4-4. My name's David Morris, and with me in the commentary box is Stefan Cohen from France. We're here to 
just try and keep you informed about what's happening on this table. The players are doing the entertaining. Been a few mistakes so far, hence the match is tied at 4-4, both players. All right. A little bit nervous. this to put Niels back in the lead hasn't been in the lead since he was 3-2 up Elmer drew level at 3-3 then he went into a lead of himself 4-3 and Niels winning the last two frames albeit this last one courtesy of a mistake by Elmer here we see the break that's a beautiful shot and then Niels just getting unlucky here with a two. Tried to make the one rail carom on the seven. Uh, look at Elmer's movement. Every time he plays a shot, he's, look at his hands. Look, he's gone every time. Look at Niels, the difference between the two. Oh, yes. Look at that. The hand's still there. Yeah. Elmer would have been in his seat by now. <laughs> you know, he's so quick, the guy. If there is one guy staying in position in the world, it's, it's Nils. Yeah, Nils, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He'll stay there. Oh, for sure. It's like he's got super glue on his hands. Yeah, oh, yeah, but it's important. Yeah. Oh, it's and I so think important. If yeah. Elmer has a coach somewhere, I think that is one thing that this guy has got to change. Because I think it's costing him here. Oh, yeah. His, his movement is costing him. So if his coach anywhere, or if he does have a coach, then get him working on staying in position. It's the same like golf. You look at the ball, look at the spot where the ball was. You don't look where it's going to go. And there you can see just in the right of the screen as it is there, Albin at the table. On table number 12. Our other semi-final and over in the background you see the Alcas commentary team and interview team. Actually, yeah. Um when you are talking about that, it's uh, interesting because a lot of uh, scientific uh, find uh, with a target uh, sports like golf, a few professional players now uh, from golf try to look at the, the target at the end, not the ball. Mm -hmm. Because uh, well, if you look at the ball at the end, uh, it's like an interference for the, for the club. You know what I mean? Not sure. Like a what? So if you look at the target at the end, yeah, you don't think about to hit the ball, and you just pass. Like okay. That. So what you're saying is um, different just, techniques. Just allow your your sort of um, eyes to follow through and look at the target rather than yeah. staying focused of where the ball was. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. In pool, in pool, that way a lot of players uh, uh, watch the ball. Uh, at the end, like that, they can go through the cue yeah. ball without thinking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, in, in Paul, you should be looking at your object ball anyway. No, you not know? at the end. No, 95% 90, of, of the pool player are watching the the ball la uh, last. Okay, so you're keeping an eye on the cue ball where you're going to strike it. Yeah. Sorry. Are you keeping your eyes on the cue ball? No. To where? No, that's what I mean. You're looking at your object ball. Uh, in Karam. I, c I come from Karam. I okay. come from three questions. And uh, uh, I was uh, watching the cue ball last because this, this is your objective, your goal, is to moving the cue ball where you want. Yeah. So, so it was different. But now I have to change to, to make some, some shots and uh, l watch the, the object ball okay. last. So it, uh, well, there you go, mm. all people out there. But it's very interesting oh, because there's no rules, of course. So, but yeah, uh, yeah. It's but in golf, some, some professionals try to, to, to watch uh, the hole when they are putting. Yeah. And, uh, well, Elmer making tough. three balls off of that break, and the table's open. This is the crucial shot, though. Getting very thin. a very thin cut. So and around sure to, the, to the three is a good shot. It's perfect. Uh, it should yeah. be OK there. All these balls out in the open. No problems as far as we can see. But of yeah. course, these players have been creating their own problems, as we've seen so far. He needs a very easy right now to, to get rid of his Yeah, to get his uh, rhythm back and get rid of those nerves. Get it. Shake off the bogeys. 
Again? Into Again balls. bumping into okay. balls, but he's all right. That's he's perfect. okay. And in the other semi-final, Albin Ocean is 5-3 up now against Chang. And I can just see over there that Albin is at the table. I don't know what sort of layout he's got. But if he's at the table, it's a good thing for him. He's taking his time now. Yeah. To finish. Well, watch Elmer's hand. Let's mm. see. Watch it move straight away. As soon as that cue ball's gone. See? Straight away. It's a strange thing. It's 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 really hard to watch actually. It's, a, it's <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, everyone to their own. It's done him good so far. He's in the semi-finals of the World Nine Ball Championships. But it is his first time. Yep. You know, so first time he's made it past the qualification stage. Stage two is a stage two virgin and already in the semi-final. Mm, not very good. It's not very Could good. He's straight. Oh, he's no, got yeah. a bit of an angle. He's he not should very be okay. Good. No. Two rails here, maybe. Yeah, yeah, but you have to control the cue ball because it. there's a side pocket if you follow through. And uh, you don't want to be frozen on the on the rear. I don't know what he's going to do. Yeah, a lot of left English. And watch your cue ball. Watch your cue ball. Go watch in. Where's it going? Wow. I told what you. a mistake from I told you. Elm. Because it's a... Uh, what a mistake. Yeah, it, because it's a... Uh, New cloth and uh, new balls. You have a, a curve on the on the cue ball. That's why I said you can scratch on the side. Well, and, uh, Niels has probably never got an easier ball in hand than that. <laughs> and yeah, that to trap. give him a 6-4 lead. Unbelievable mistake from Elma. But you called it, not Stephen. that. Yeah, not that unbelievable. Yeah, because I called yeah, it. Because you called it. Wow. You have to force, and uh, there's a curve, a big curve, and uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The six ball was. Wasn't a good, good shot. Well, unbelievable! I didn't think I'd see that. I mean, even leaving it in the middle, he was trying to get two straight. Look at this. Yeah, after the rear, you go. get in. A uh, he knows it. Look at his face. He oh, yeah. knows it. Oh, yeah. He knows it. And Niels was praying <laughs> for that. Look at that spin. <laughs> see the spin that came off of that yeah. top rail. That's why you should stop before the side pocket. Um, it's a tougher yeah, it shot for, for the nine ball, but uh, you're sure to don't scratch. And so, yeah, it was a... Well, 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 a Europe are singing at the moment. Niels leading six games to four, and Albin six games to three up. They're on their mandatory timeout. That's after nine racks here. What do you think about that, Stefan? you like the idea of a mandatory timeout, or do you think a player should be able to go once in a, in a match prefer, when, he you know, when they want? To have the choice, I prefer. Yeah. Because when the, the ref asked me, uh, you, you have to, uh, to take your timeout, I didn't want to. <laughs> yeah. I was in front, I was 6-3, and uh, no, I said, no, I don't want to. Yeah. He said, yeah, but, uh, after you, you don't yeah. have any more. So, uh, oof. I think, I, I I think like it's that. actually quite nice. I think it belongs to the game. It's a little bit of tactics. When's a good time to have a timeout? Yeah, when not? Of course. You know, to try and... Yeah, I think it belongs. It's, it's not unsportsmanlike, you, you know, to take your time out. Mm. And I think it's good. You know, it, it, it's, it's also a benefit for you, because if you're having a real bad time on there, having a nightmare, you need something to, you know, change that. And I think it's good for the sport as well, because otherwise, it, you know, it's not really giving you quality. When you're tired, you're drained out there, you're missing everything, you need to get yourself together. Mm -hmm. Sometimes just that five minutes away with your coach or on your own, you know, gives you a little bit of a different perspective oh, to the game. Sure, you can change, change some things. So being mandatory, you know, you, you're told when to go. And like mm -hmm. you said, you know, you're fine. You don't want to go. Yeah, it's, it's seven to two or six to three for you. You don't want to take a time out. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you, really you, don't you want to keep your opponent <laughs> in that chair, punishing them as much sure. as you can. Sure you want. So, OK. Not a lot of push out in the, this game. I mean, it's maybe the first one, no? Maybe the first. Yeah, first push out that I oh, can maybe, recall, yeah. certainly. Yeah. Yeah, so. Tactical game, six to four 
for this and tactical game now. It's an occasion for the for Mr. Haya to to get uh, his uh, his serve back. Where do you push here, though, Stefan? Maybe just bump into the four. Maybe push the four out the way, leave the cue ball. A lot of players make the five with the four, create a problem. Uh, sometimes it's a good solution. But you Maybe, could be uh, creating the problem for yourself. You yeah, but forget that. Yes, of course, but uh, you're sure to play again if you create a big problem with the four and the five, so you can leave something. But yeah, sometimes Nils like to 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 leave a jump shot on th on that kind of push out. It's r just rolling uh, in direction of the of the eight ball and leave a jump shot because he is a very good jumper. So maybe maybe it's an option for him here. It he is. He's he like also having a long think. Or here, because the one the one ball that then pass the two, so you can leave the cue ball here to play safe. Uh, mm -hmm. He's taking his time because it's a big time. He's right about that. It's tactical, it's dec mental decision, and uh, yeah, this is a tough one. Yep, yep. Because uh, in front of you, you ha you have a player who can make anything uh, everywhere, anywhere. Hasn't looked like it today, though. Yeah, yeah you struggled right. a little yeah, bit yeah, both struggling. of these players. But don't give him the opportunity to come back mentally. I mean, so uh, I will leave it a safety here. Yeah. Better. So. I'm surprised you don't leave a jump shot on the one ball. Like that. And you get position on the two. I don't know. Yes. Looks like he wants to to give a, sh a tough shot to the guy. Like uh, yeah, like put the cue ball here. It's a tough shot. Yeah, maybe just come one rail and then leave it. On oh no, he hasn't even really got that much of an option. Maybe I've got to play a little bit English coming past the five to get the cue ball bumping into the four. Maybe. Okay, decide to frozen the cue ball. And leave the a tough shot to, to the guy. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Not frozen. Not frozen, but uh, yeah, reasonable, reasonable. That's a hard one from there. Niels, I think, could find himself back at the table. Although I've been told by top players, if you can see all of the ball, don't let your opponent back. Mm -hmm. Is that about right, Stefan? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, with uh, Elma seeing all of the one ball here. He should be playing it. Yeah, he has to play with uh, soft speed. This is uh, he's, yeah. And uh, he's maybe going for the pot. Two-way shot. Going for the pot. See him shaking there. It's maybe a two-way shot. Uh, if you maybe miss it this way, one. you may be safe. That's why I say it's, that is a two-way shot. I mean, it's a good speed. If you miss it, but you have to miss it on the uh, on the thick side. Thick side, yeah. And uh, sure. this you miss speed. it on the thin side, then you're in trouble. Yep. So it's a good shot. That's why maybe the push out wasn't the best best position, but it was a tricky position. I mean, can you see it? Okay, you can see I think it. He can just All see right. the one. So thin and maybe behind the five, maybe. Make sure what you make a great the one shot. here. Yeah, good shot. Behind the five what will, will be better shot. because here it's an easy kick. But it's uh, an easy kick, but easy uh, kick, but then... Yeah, he has to play soft, very soft, and phew, you are not uh, the favorite here. Okay. It is an easy out. The one is not frozen to the rail. Yeah, it will be automatic. Um, you can't make a foul here. Oh, you play hard. Okay, try it's to get lucky. Yeah. Which uh, I think 
at least. Yeah. He has. I don't know about the bank shot. No. No. Mm, Seven, I think, is nope. blocking that. Nope. Uh, he could go through the six and nine, but I think that's a bit of a risk. I think Neil's here. Knowing cross him, he will be looking for a place to hide. Yeah, across the one ball and go behind the six. I'd even see uh, that Niels is going up table with a cue ball, maybe. No, behind the six, behind the, the one six. Ball. Yeah. So classic uh, safety, and uh, you have to, yeah, get very close to the six for yeah. avoid the the jump. This is a big part. All right. Yeah, I think he's done that as well mm -hmm. because the nine is helping in the barricades. I don't know if he can pass between the eight and the four. Nope. So. Mm. <laughs> yeah, just looking for a way out here. Between the five and the four, with the uh, with the right English, but you can go into the point of the side pocket. Yep. It's big. The knuckle on the middle pocket uh, is extremely large. Or there's the one where, but it's, it's a tough one. Oh, okay, this way too. Mm -hmm. All right, and try to get lucky. So yeah, he has to play it hard, and hard is tough to touch this one have to judge nice. okay nice shot into but the four but left mm, kneels a little, little yep. chance yes he's got it yep elma knows it okay the position for the two is a key i don't know if he can avoid oh yep He is very really thin on this one. I don't know if he can stop the cue ball after the after the eight ball. I don't know. It's uh, looks like not. But so yeah, it's speed. just control here. Yeah, it's just gotta let it roll past the eight as long as he can. Mm, but uh, get it down here. Yeah. Between the eight and the middle pocket. Because he need a, he need to come back for the four ball or so. So he really need a. Yeah, he needs a bit of an angle on yep. the two. That's what I'm saying, if he can get it, just a normal cut and uh, squeeze past the eight there, get back down sort of to the middle. And watch the nine ball. Yeah, not as low as that. Yeah. Oh, he's going quick yeah. for this. That's why I say watch the nine ball if you do this. Oh. Wow. Okay. I think he's got away with it. Yep. He's got yeah. a shot on the two. It was a big decision. All right. Is there yeah, a sorry, we were interrupted there. Yep. Uh, One rear and between the four and the five will be will be nice because it's very thin. Yeah, I think it's uh, only one rear and go in between the, cross the four ball yeah. and stay behind the five. Looks like natural. Yeah, just looking there. Just some left in dish. Yeah. So, the only thing can happen is to go behind the five. That's it, that's oh. it, that's it. Oops, perfect. That's perfect there. Whoa. <laughs> All right, so let's get position now, a perfect position. So maybe yep. stay stay there and the one rear between the nine and six again. Or come behind. Just stay there. Yep. Stay. And then go between the seven and nine behind. So maybe two rails. Yeah, I mean, be, between the six and nine, I prefer. <laughs> 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 but he's got the choice. He's got the choice. It really depends on the, the feeling you, ha you yeah. have. Because he's got a little, little yeah, more he angle. Right yeah, now. he's got more angle there. Oh and yeah. if he bumps into the nine, it's not a problem. Yeah, yeah I prefer this one. Oh, what a good shot there Perfect. from Niels. All right, so now. Looks like uh, it's finished. But 
few few good shots in a row on this. Roll the seven in and uh, bring the eight for the opposite middle pocket. Go up high. So go through. Just like that. And the eight comes to the opposite pocket. Give him good position on the nine to extend his lead to seven games to four. Big time. It's a big frame. Perfect. All right. He's okay. There's seven games to four now. Niels Feyen leading Helma Del Heia. Looks relaxed again, Niels. He does. Yep. He's sort of back into mm -mm. his old rhythm here. And of course, I said earlier that the most racks that someone's taken off of Niels here at this event is seven. And Elma at the moment stuck on four. It was a good shot. This was mm -hmm. a key moment there. That was a great shot from Niels. That was a super safety there. Yeah. Which opened up the game. Was a, yeah. And this was terrific. Mm -hmm. You know, up behind the five for the four. Yeah, it was almost natural. I mean, that's why I chose this. Uh, his yeah, pattern and uh, played played that frame well there. He mm -hmm. did play that one. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. Very good, very good. Oh, Looks that like was the, yeah, the the one miss. Shot. Yeah, that was the miss from Elma. And some great replay and slow mo shots here, courtesy of Alcas. In cooperation with Kazum. See the way the cue ball slides across the cloth. And here we have Elma breaking off in the 12th rack. Uh -huh. Bad hit on the one ball. Yeah, yeah. Bad one hit. Ball. Bad he hit. Has it was a bad stroke on this one. No shot on the one. The so now it's Elma's turn to end up obscured on yeah. the next shot and Niels having to play a push out in the last break I think Elmer will have the same decision to make here yeah the difference is uh, there is seven four yeah and this puts a lot of pressure on you because the uh, push out now it's a uh, worst thing could happen huh? so Yeah, if you want to to keep the rhythm of the match, you put the two behind the seven and the four, and uh, it will be a long game. And yeah, maybe he can change something, yeah. you know, in the, in the match. Maybe tie up a few balls. Yeah. He's going to just put it there. Look. Oh, oh no. no! Okay, just leave the one ball here. Well, Niels has actually got a shot on this one. If he wants to take it on, mm. he's got a shot on this one. Don't forget the score, David. I mean, 7-4 for him. He's not supposed to take a big risk about something, you know. Let your opponent take it. I mean, if, you know. Yeah. I just think Tact it's, uh, it's attractive, though. Yeah, it is yeah. attractive. Yeah, that's it. That's it. But uh, no. <laughs> you are not supposed to take <laughs> this one. <laughs> I know you're aggressive on the table, but... Uh. <laughs> okay. That's probably why I don't stay on the table too long, Stefan. So <laughs> I've got to try and get a little bit of uh, offense as well. <laughs> or defense, sorry. All right, you go for it. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. But Nis is not supposed to take this risk. I mean, yeah. I don't think so. I, ju I just thought then, shot, yeah, I just shot. thought then it was worth taking because of those balls there. Hmm. You know, that, that would have been. <laughs> yeah, you need a perfect angle on the four, otherwise it could be a very difficult, very easy 
Uh, maybe it's a stop shot or maybe draw back one ball or what is it going to do? Oh. Okay, because... He, hmm. Well, that was a bit of a strange shot there. Yeah. Well, Elmer. That's what I said. <laughs> a little bit so in between two. I think he would have been a better off. Yeah, because uh, the four ball passed the side pocket. So better off than better. Yeah, he's going to be playing this four up into the same pocket where I thought he would, but from the worst position and possible. Wow, wow, wow. wow. So it's just that nice bank. There. <laughs> <laughs> nice bank. But from here, it, it was a good speed. But, uh, okay, just stop the right here. And come back to the center of the table for the seven ball. And over on the other semi-final table, the score is also 7-4 in favor of Albin Ocean. Leading Chang, 7-4. And Albin's at the table as well. So the reigning European nine ball champion trying to make it a double, a historic double. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoa. He's, he's okay, all, but uh, uh, close. It's yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Very perfect. See him taking a deep breath, trying to control. Does it very nicely there. Mm. There should be just a, a simple roll in and send the nine up the table. Or is he going to try and do yeah, something and the nine else? to the same pockets. Prefer stroke the ball right now. Leaves some distance there. He'll be thinking about the balls he has jawed before this. He cannot afford to do it now. A lot of pressure. Even now there is Even an <laughs> easy yeah. ball like that. Even an easy <laughs> ball. There's no uh, easy balls at the World Nine Ball Championships. And the score is not In the semi final same. stage. See the way the cue ball just slides across. It looks like it's, really, it's his style, I mean, to play like that. Huh? To play uh, very. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The world, a nice shot was there, and the reward was uh, was uh, here. Wow! Wow! Yep. Now we can see Ralph Suke. Ralph Suke and Ted Lerner. Apparently, uh, they're coming in the commentary box next for the finals. Click. Nice view. This break, 7-5. Referee still taking time with his racks. No good again. Not sure what is happening with this. there the six just bouncing back again hey, that's why you have to move yeah all the two five seven ball around the one and two together yeah and uh, it's automatic almost automatic I mean. but they do it ball by ball and it's no good you see what I mean yeah. they do yeah. it one ball one ball one ball it's no good just take seven balls into your hand and 
come back, <laughs> it's automatic. I mean. it's the, di the difference is you take seven balls into your hand, you ain't got gloves. Do you know what I mean? No. They are going to be, yeah. you know, they're, they are too. moving everywhere. Well, it's uh, after I would try with gloves because, <laughs> 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 yeah, talking about the uh, glove story, but uh, I don't know, I'm not sure this is a problem. You know, it's, it's strange just to to move the six and seven here, and uh, you have to move all the seven balls at the same time. Well, Niels needing four more frames to make it into the finals. Albin needing four more. Elma six. And Albin just uh, went seven. This eight four for, for Albin. So Albin has just won the next track over there. So Albin Ocean is going. He's taking his break ahead. Uh, he's going to uh, break too. So it could be a nine four. Leading eight four over on the other semi final table. And Niels hoping to get his eighth rack up on the board. If these balls are now frozen, we'll be seeing looks okay. So Niels accepts them and will be uh, breaking off in his 13th rack. Soft again, or stroke. Now prefer stroke. Okay, four ball. Oops, and it don't have. The, the problem is if you don't control the cue ball in the in the center of the table here, the one ball will stay uh, all, always here. So you don't you don't have the shots on the one ball. So yeah, yeah, it's uh, the, the problem with the break. The only problem. So what? 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 Uh, okay, maybe send the one ball into the two and go behind the three with the cue ball. Yeah, I was just looking at that. That's probably mm -hmm. his better option there. Is just looking to see where the two will go. And but yeah, just, just play the one into the two and send the cue ball back across table behind the three. Got to be careful of the pocket, of course. Yep, because there is a risk. He needs a rail. That's what he's looking at there. He needs to hit the first diamond on the rail. But he's got to squeeze past the four to do that. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's looking at another option. I don't know. Oh, look, look, he wants to, to bank the one ball, two rares. One, two, into the six. Oh, he needs to get oh, past the six. Good. He really needed to get past. Look, his left Elmer a chance. Oh, yeah. He needed that one to avoid the six. All right. He took a little risk here. Maybe he wanted to make it into rears. And, of course, press safe at the same time, but uh, it was... Uh. All right. If he made it. She stay there. I tell you, wow, something is holding that up. I don't know what it is, but something deep in the pocket is holding that one. It's far. Oh, yeah. Look okay. how much that okay. is. That's like yeah, super glue there. Yeah. Look how far that is yeah. in the pocket. That is yeah. so deep. <laughs> That's got Linda written all over it. And the cue ball is in good position to play the one two because otherwise it's <laughs> it will be a tricky shot. But here it's uh, very good. It's got a lot of angle on the two. Mm. Looks like now, I don't know. Yeah, it'll be okay yeah, just to okay. roll that one, yeah. Stefan. I think uh, give him yeah. a good position on the three. The what six. a chance for Niels. 
the six passes is a side pocket I don't know um, maybe yes perfect all right so the six goes into the side pocket I change everything yeah I think that's a little bit tight down there at least from the camera view oh, oh I don't know oh, I don't know I don't know I think it could be okay you don't have a lot of things to do to, to go for the seven ball that's why it's uh, an option but uh, mm. we'll see You think he's going to draw the cue ball back over to the rail where his hand is so he can get the position from five to six it to get it over? Yeah, it depends the six. I mean, mm. the six passes or not? I don't know. Yeah, it's a tough one, yeah. Mm -mm. Uh, it's a hard one to call from the screen we are looking at. Does the six drop it's in like the middle pocket easily or does he have to take it up the rail to the top corner pocket? We are soon going to find out. Yeah, gonna play position for both. I mean, and yeah, see, what, see what happens. Bring the cue ball over towards here. I think that's a real tough one for middle. I would uh, like that to go up the top pocket, personally. It looks Although like I it's okay. I think it's going in the middle with the angle he left himself mm -hmm. there. Slow roll. The six into the middle pocket. As long as he gets off of the cushion with the cue ball. And have a shot on the seven. Oh, yeah. Told you, I didn't like that one. I told you. Oh, funny. I preferred the corner pocket. What wow. a chance for Niels, and that's Much? gone. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe. See, put maybe in English yeah. on the cue ball. Inside, and maybe get yeah. a, maybe he's got a kick. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he wow. got a kick. Yeah. What a mistake. Because of the reverse English, I mean. Maybe it's not a mistake. <laughs> Maybe it's because he got a kick here. Yeah, I don't know. Well, mm. I think the, the mistake. I finish. think the mistake was not playing for the corner pocket. It's a big pocket up there, middle pocket. There, the angle was small. Let's see what Elmer can do. Got a great chance to get himself back into this match. He'll be okay. And he's okay. Quite straight on the seven, I think. And it's nine to four for Albin. He just won uh, his, uh, his break. Uh, Albin, at the moment, getting closer and closer to the final of the World Nine Ball Championships, a lead in Chang, a nine to four. <laughs> yeah, the middle pocket was there. A few of the crowd getting a little bit anxious. They see Elmer drop one in that pocket earlier. Uh, this is a massive shot for Elmer here. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of relief there, I think, <laughs> not uh, <laughs> anything else. A bit of relief. Trailing Niels now. Yeah. Six games to seven, and Elmer will be breaking. I'm not sure it was a, a skid on, on, on yeah. the six ball. Slow speed with reverse English. See, look how Sometimes. much that is off of that rail. There is enough, but I, I just preferred... I just preferred sending it up the top rail, in the corner. The pockets are bigger especially when it's like that and the pressure is immense yeah because it's very far away for to, to make it and uh, i'm not expecting to miss this ball that far away i mean yeah yeah it's, uh, you can miss it but not this way
just got someone eating some crisps up in the audience there. Yeah, it will be a tricky. That's what you can hear in the background. So <laughs> they're eating some crisps. They're not even giving us any. Yeah, not enough. <laughs> they're not even giving us any. Again, got a look. No. <laughs> He's not the referee is not checking if it's good or not. He just touch the balls and uh, leave the player take the decision I mean just check it and uh, yeah I should check it before yeah, the player yeah. look to it you know yeah of course it didn't there we see again Elmer's body language when he plays a shot okay seven six looks like the score of Albin is eight four yeah looks like something oh yeah yeah something missing over there I thought that yeah. was a, a frame there for I'm not sure about that. Huh? I've been before. Good break there. But there is a referee there. And the one ball and oh. the one ball passes. Yeah, and I think the one goes between the four and five, which you can see there it certainly does. The thing is here, maybe he's going to play uh, this shot with left English and he can touch the six with the stick when you make some left English here on, the, on that kind of yeah, shot. So he can be a foul here. And uh, for this reason, he can miss the one ball. Because because he's thinking of that. Yep. He's thinking that hey, you know. So be watch the stick. Here. The stick into the six. Maybe especially uh, Elmer's hand movement at the moment. Yeah, yeah. You're right. His hand movement. I think he could hit the three. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> the three. <laughs> All right. Maybe stay under under the three. One, two, or two or three rares. Just wondering, just looking over to the other table there, just wondering what happened to that rack. You saw Alvin win, because yep. it hasn't come up yet on the live score. Mm -hmm. But uh, oh. there is a referee there, so. Oh, you prefer to draw it? Oh. I don't like that. Oh, oh, you could have bumped into that. That was risky. Yeah. That was really a risky shot. If it right. had bumped into that full ball, it okay. would have been in no man's land. As it is. Just scrape past the three, giving him this opportunity. So now the six for the seven ball. Or oh, is he straight? It'll be okay, but... Yeah, we'll throw back. Throw st straight. An angle would have been better, but he is quite straight. He need an angle on the five to go to the six anyway, so no problem. But uh, the, f the six, seven is... Uh, little tricky. Oh, here we go. The, the score. Okay, oh, so it's 9 5, yeah. So, referee obviously forgot one score there. Oh, so, Albin Oshan is leading now 9 5 on the other table. He's asking for some balls to be moved. Just looking where he wants to leave the yep. cue ball. It's very. Because he's got to get tricky position there back up yeah he's quite he's got to force this issue here Stefan go play this with a bit of pace to move that cue ball a little bit right there and go near the six ball yeah. is a big point because you can manage everything here yeah he's straight on the yeah. six mm -hmm. it looks like it's a you can draw back and give the fans a little bit of a heart murmur because it'll be uh, screwing back towards the cube uh, towards the middle pocket. 
that we hold in their breath. They'll okay. be okay there. He's got an angle of perfect. Two rears. Never fails. These two balls to tie the match at 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, 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 too hard. Oh, he's side lost pocket, the side cue pocket. ball. Side pocket. <laughs> oh, wow. Side pocket. Yeah. He lost the cue ball there. He stroked the ball. <laughs> well, he wanted to curve <laughs> and uh, he, forget the he forget the speed. <laughs> okay, side pocket, easy shot. Easy shot? Yeah, yeah, yes it is. Yes. He, he, he don't he don't have a lot of angle. No, just between the third diamond and the pocket, you know? It's uh, yeah. It's okay. Get uh, yeah, miss it. That's oh, what I mean. You don't want them shots at this stage. Yeah, maybe it was, uh, you know, it was the only reason. Uh, you know, oh, it wasn't. Yeah. Easy. It wasn't hard. Uh, the easy know. shot turned out to be an That's impossible one. Yeah. Look, his hand and everything. Yeah. All the movement. But that's why he missed uh, yeah. some balls, huh? Here, again. Oh, look at that! <laughs> wow, and the crowd are really disappointed. Now Neil's with a pressure on. Oh, big time. Big time. Big, big shot, this one. Yep. Well, there it is. <laughs> Neil's just keeping an eye on the cue ball there, as you see him walking <laughs> by, clenching his fist. But Neil's taking that one. Yeah. And instead of 7-7, seven, seven, it's 8-6. That is a massive frame. Yeah, he made a mistake on the seven ball, and he didn't take his time for, to play this nine ball. And... Uh, this is uh, the mental, mental uh, foul, I mean. Yeah. Uh, on this one, because... Uh, this was all looking Elmer's, so... Uh, this shot was tricky, the two for the three. But then after, it's uh, amazing. All right. It's amazing where he went wrong. This seven to nine, it just was nice. completely lost control. And uh, yeah, he jumped up uh, again. I mean, you can... And that's uh, a cool head from Niels. Big, big time. Wow. Just looking back at these action replays. And the shot from Elma. And the that eyes. will oh. haunt him for a long time to come if he loses this match. Missing the nine ball into the middle pocket. Leaving Niels a tough long nine. Mm -hmm. This was a shot. Yep. Look, sliding the cue ball. Got too low on the nine. Not too much of the nine there. Just looking over to the other table. Well, Yulong is at the table. Trailing Alvin 9-5. Or 5-9. Hmm. Just reducing the deficit there. Now trailing Albin six games to nine. Who's break? Uh, Albin break? I wasn't watching over there. It's uh, just because the referee here. The referee change a uh, magic rack.
Looks perfect this time. Very good control there. And tough shot on the one ball, but uh, it's a shot. It's uh, an opportunity for Nils. Make the ball is difficult and get position is difficult also but uh, because the cue ball is frozen you can use you can't use a lot of english make the, the shot very difficult so just pass the seven ball good shot and between wow good shot there i don't think the three ball passes i don't know looks like yes yeah passes so one rare to the center of the table there are a lot of children of child in the, the room and uh, disturbing their soil Okay, one rare for the three. Perfect. He's in control of the table. One rare for the four. Okay, Stefan, so I'll go back. Yeah. Very good break from Nils. Okay, and uh, make a very good shot on the one ball. Uh, it, it was tricky, a tricky shot. We made it perfect. We and made uh, that, yeah. Yep. And now we are at this stage. Yep. So only the five to six got some options there. We'll see. Where. Yeah, come back into rears. I mean. Behind the seven ball, he's got the option. Yeah. He got the option. Pretty deep on the how he feel about. Would that. you now come between the six and seven, or come no. between the middle pocket and the seven? That's um, where I would the, go. The yeah. middle pocket and the seven. Yeah, got to come so that way. Seven. Or stay, stay in the center of the table where he is now. Risk is if you don't get enough on it, though. That's um, it. You it's know, uh, behind the seven. This is the shot. That's why I prefer this one. But you have to stroke this one. So. I know it's it's his style. I mean, he like to, to to stroke the balls. So now it's a follow one rare, come back into the line of seven ball like that, and then follow and you get the perfect position on the nine. He's in control there. What wow, big time! This to go 9 6 up for Niels Feyen. Yes. Oh, there we have it. Needs two more to make it into the finals. Where on the other table we have Albin Ocean also 9 6 up against a Yulung Cheng. It's Cheng at the table. Nice shooting there from Niels. Niels got a few titles to his name. I mean, European titles, he's got several. And uh, won the nine ball back in 2013.
in Portoroz, which was his first nine ball European title as a um, as an adult, and uh, also teams he's won. He's had the World Pool Masters, of course. We all know he's been a winning member of the Moscone Cup, but this is the title that they all want, the nine ball world champion. And this is the one that has eluded Nick uh, Neil so far. Nine six on the both, huh? On both yeah, table, yeah. Right? So both, <laughs> both Europeans at the moment out in front, mm -mm. and both at nine games to six. That will be an amazing achievement to have an all European final in a World Nine Ball, considering the amount of talented players that have been here from all over the world and to come down to the last four and two Europeans there against a Filipino and a Taipei mm. that's a nice break there two balls coming back oh, oh, very easy yeah, it's a nice break there from wow. Elmer okay except the seven to the eight is uh, this is yeah. the only problem once the others are out the way, I think then uh, it should be plain sailing for Elmer. He's just trying to loosen up his arm a little bit there, waving it about a bit. Just trying to get his elbow greased up. Get the joints moving. Coming behind the eight now. <laughs> Using two rails. Just about to where his hand is at the moment. Perfect position. Drop this six into the corner. Come off the rail for the position on the seven which will be important to get back up for the eight. Just doesn't want to be straight, needs a bit of an angle. Yeah, it's perfect there. One rear. Pass the side pocket and stay there. Be thinking about yeah, I was just thinking. He's <laughs> thinking about the previous nine ball here, <laughs> uh, the position from the seven, because the nine is about where it was. He doesn't want to be low. Yeah, he's thinking <laughs> yeah. about it. He remembers. Hey, deja vu. <laughs> Only difference was it was the seven and not the eight. He doesn't want to end up where he was last time. And don't forget about the scratch into the, the side pockets. He's okay. the seven ball. Yeah. 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 Two times. The so. seven. The seven ball has been Elmer's downfall, I think. Sometimes with the way of the referee write the balls, the eight, the eight balls stay with the nine every times. So okay. Yeah. Well, and sometimes she stay on the back of the table all the match. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. yeah. It depends <laughs> where they write it. Yeah. And uh, if the referee uh, is doing the same rack every times. The eight ball sometimes stay with the nine, and uh, it's, it's amazing. Change a lot of things. Yeah, but it should be uh, random racks. Yep. I mean, yep. You know, that's that's what huh. that's what puzzles me here. Yeah. Mm. You know, it should be random racks. Yet they always put the two at the back. Mm. Yeah, the two, the two, yeah, yeah the two in you the know. back. Yeah. But for the eight ball, it's amazing. Sometimes it should stay like uh, where the seven or the six is. Yeah. Every time, and. Uh, but then they shouldn't be putting the two at the back, should they? Uh, every yeah. time is yeah. that the yeah. new rule yeah. now? Yeah. I think yes. Yeah, yeah? they did. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know that was in the WPA rules now. I don't know if it's That'd be interesting, interesting. but they, they do it. Yeah, 
because I mean it should be random racking. I understand why they oh, do yeah, it. Oh yeah, but yeah, but not for. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I understand why they do it because mm. then at least it's the same for both players. Because otherwise you're going to get one referee putting a two on the back for someone, and then not not the next one. Yeah, 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 yeah. You do it for him and not for me. So mm. and I understand this is the, why. The, the only ball you can't control. Yeah. The last one, you don't know what's going to do. I yeah. Mean. So that's why I put here. In Euro Tour, also when uh, you you make your own rack, you ask for uh, your opponent to make the two behind. That's it. Yeah, that's you can agree that yourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, okay, yep. No <laughs> referee, yep. And we've just had some food delivered for us. Wow, <laughs> 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 no chance to eat yet. Whatever it is, it's going to be cold. Just take it outside, leave it on the side for 10 minutes, it'll warm up. <laughs> just there's some sure. nice. Nice marble benches outside, we just put it there, <laughs> and that'll be hot soon. Some fried eggs. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> like 40, today I think it was 44 degrees outside. Wow. And uh, the wind, the hot wind, but you have a marble sort of uh, bench outside this beautiful arena, and uh, if by mistake you sit there, <laughs> you have a barbecue. <laughs> Uh, our cameraman Lorenzo sat there one day. You see him jump up so quick. <laughs> <laughs> he sat down, and about two seconds later, whoa, he was up in the air. So it is hot. Oh, good, good break control. off there. Yeah, yeah but is he uh, going to get a shot no on the one? No reward there. No. No. The cue ball. No, no. Then. Okay. He made two balls off the break. Four in the kitchen. But so not a shot on the one. Big opportunity now for uh, for uh, Mr. Uh, Haya because yeah, he can make uh, if he can win this one, he can make nine nine. Yeah, and uh, this is a big frame. Nils yep. to get on the hill. I don't know, but I'll be because or I heard there's, uh, there's a crowd uh, because it's nine seven also for Harbin. Uh, Oh, so you're looking over there, yeah. yeah it's, uh, Albin's at the table. I don't know yeah. what he's got there, but... but I think and, uh, he's up and missed. Yeah. That's why the, the crowd... Okay. I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, so once again, tactical thing. Yeah, leave a uh, easy kick, but uh, from here you can scratch also in the corner. So... The guy who plays this shot will take a little risk because you can scratch into the corner by kicking uh, on the good way on the one. But you can also, if you play, if you touch good, good one ball, you can stay behind the four seven. So yeah, so you mean coming off the rail, yeah. playing the one, so the one goes down the table a little bit, yeah. and uh, cue ball ends up back where he is mm -hmm. now. Yeah, it's a good question from Niels because they yeah, like that. Yeah, you can thin it, but uh, it's tough shot. I'd like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'd play this and try and not not risk too much of the corner pocket, but maybe the cue ball up on the top rail. So play it a little bit thicker than what you're looking at. Mm -hmm. You avoid taking a risk with a corner pocket and you can make the one ball into a side also. yeah yeah and that way at least if the cue ball is up on the top rail you mm. still got an option on the two so uh, i personally would go a little bit thicker on this it's a tricky position it's so a tricky he's playing position. Niels yeah. back let's see what Niels has in mind so if you kick watch the scratch Albin is not at the table anymore. I can see you along over there. Yeah, but uh, tough position. And jacking like up yeah. whatever he's doing. 
But back to this table. Oh, he's found. Long he's walking. Found. He found. Wow. Ball in hand for Albin. So anyway, back here. And Niels is just looking where he wants to play that. Measuring. If he exactly. don't want to, to, to scratch, he has, he has to play very uh, harder. But uh, harder is not this. this yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. yeah. Still a Thin tough one. Still a long way. Yeah. Thinner. A risk of a scratch, so he didn't want that. But uh, thicker. <laughs> yeah, he didn't really need the kick on the two. Yeah. So. It was a good decision from Haya to let Nils uh, play this shot. I mean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He needed to uh, yeah, do yeah. that. He didn't want to take a good this decision. Risk. Yeah. Sure. It's a tough shot now. Under pressure. Just Long getting, just getting straight. a whiff of our food there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's just four o'clock for us. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's a yeah. This is tough. And oh, this is remembering, tough. you know, he's two games behind. If he misses this, gives me a great opportunity to get on the hill. So yeah, this is a real tough shot at this stage. Long straights. I should stay, stay in position. See his hand uh, shaking. This guy is not possible. He's yeah. there. Oh, oh, and the cue ball. Look at that. And the three ball move wow. and everything. Wow. And he moved the three oh ball also. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, it's a one, two. Maybe no. Well, well, well. The two ball passes the side pocket. is finished. Looks like yes. No, I don't know. Mm -hmm. wow. wow. That unbelievable. Wow. Past each other on the way, and the cue ball dropping into the pocket where Elma wanted the one going. I'm not sure to that. Yeah, the two ball passes aside, so just need an angle for the yeah. forehand. Just, like, uh, just making sure he's going to get this angle right. The two balls off the cushion well enough. But when he gets position, he should be fine. Not like the six in a couple of racks back. And it looks like Albin Ocean on the hill. I just see the referee at the table and Albin walking away. So that means Albin one rack away from the final of the World Nine Ball Championships. He has <laughs> the referee in the cue ball. He didn't want to again ask yeah. a skater like again. Uh, yeah. Because he needs he needs some uh, some inside English and self speed again. So clip. There you go. Perfectly clean by the referee. Had obviously a lot of discussion about ball cleaning here during one or two matches, but it is quite humid in the area and uh, yep. you can get a lot of chalk dirt on the cue cue ball yeah but with the ac yeah it's uh it's really, it was perfect i mean three rares and follow the line of the four and you get perfect So referee forgot again to put the score on. Yeah, it's uh, over on the other table. It's, um, unless the you know the internet a little bit slow yeah, catching up or something. Why. It could be why, but um, maybe that's why. Or is going now. All right, he's in perfect position for the seven, nine. Oh no, he's not going now. So obviously, referee forgets, which is amazing considering I've been here for ten days. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you forget still to <laughs> press the score. Okay. But yeah, okay, it happens, I suppose. Niels is perfect. They're nervous too, and this for Niels to get on the hill. 
And there it is. Needing one more frame to get in the final. Wow. He made a mistake on the push out and uh, he got body in hand. Big time. Yeah. No, I mean, it's <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, big time. Yeah. So I mean, from there, you know, the push out, it was open, the one. And uh, there it is. Elmer, this shot here. I coming don't know. Up now. Elmer, yeah, you know. Yeah. He wanted to, yeah. He didn't like it. He was down once yeah, yeah. and he got back yeah, up. Yeah, and yeah. He, he really talked himself out of that shot. Yeah, afraid about. Uh, yeah, yeah. Stun shots. Yep. Yeah, I think he really talked himself out of that shot. Mm. It was. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure the referee's also nervous. Referee in the semi finals of the world nine ball championships. Oh, I see him going towards a computer now. So the score should change on your screen very soon. There you have it. Niels and Albin both on the hill in their respective matches. This is Elmer's break. Elmer breaking to stay in this championship. Stay in this match. It'll be on his mind as well. He missed that nine ball into the middle. Follow through there. He's yeah. made several mistakes, but Niels oh, yeah. hasn't been at the best of his game either. Mm -hmm. He made a lot of mistakes. Huh? Yeah, both the players. The side. Uh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe they're saving their best for the final, whoever gets there. They're saving their best pool for the final. Okay. Oh, uh, is he going to have a clear shot on the two? I don't think he has. He can't make it. He, so can, he can play it, but he cannot put it at least in a direct pocket. One rare between the three and the nine, and stay behind the five and the three with the cubo. It's not uh, very attractive, but <laughs> no, that's the only thing though. He's got a sender. And the football doesn't two pass up. Too. If he can get the two between the three and the nine, yeah. sending it up table. Oh, oh no, 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 not no, there. No way. That's not there. No way. He's not here. <laughs> he's not focused anymore. Neil's quickly out of his chair. Let's see yeah. what he's been left with. He I'm knows. not sure if the two can go. He knows up it's to the now. Pocket. And uh, Halbin looks like uh, the he's playing. Oh yeah. I'm not sure if the two. Goes up to this corner pocket. I think the just three is just in the way. So stick, stick behind the five. Yeah, stick there. behind the three even. You know, send the two up. Yeah, yeah. And uh, oh, or yeah. behind the five. The five. Yeah. yeah. Bump it know. into the three a little no, bit. No, he's, he's got another, no, he's another option. He wants to, to go for it. Looks like on the side. No. It does. Oh, oh, it touched the five ball. Oh yes, it does. He touched wow, the five ball. touched the five though. So. Okay. Wow. Now this cuts into the middle. Click. Yeah. It was a nice shot. Wow. Yeah, it didn't need... You see there was a little bit kick after contact yeah. there. Looked like... Didn't there need to a touch the fire. On every shot. Yeah. I just discover here, because of slow motion. Okay. On every shot, uh, jump a little. That's uh, very slow motion. Is uh, beautiful. So go behind, behind the four six maybe.
Harbin is playing the nine ball to go to the final. Albin on the nine ball. Yes. And he's in the final. Albin already there. There you have it. Oh. A little bit. Uh, congratulations, Albin Ocean. And now Niels Feyen wants to join you. Inside. He goes for three inside. With a lot of right English and two rears and kid the, the cue ball. Or, no. Yep. He's made it and, and he's got a kick on him. What a great shot. All right. What a terrific shot from Niels. Now, this is close. He knows. He is so close. Good this shot there. Final. Oops. Then the cue ball. I didn't see the cue ball. Into, yeah, into bumped the into the four. Yeah, bumped in, split them. Bumped into the four, split it up. Got a good shot here. Five, six, eight, and nine. I think I have to go back in the record box, but I don't recall ever there have been two Europeans contesting the final of the World Nine Ball Championships. I'm sure the viewers at home can check on their record books, but I don't recall one. I'm sure there'll be a lot of I people at home calling this the Euro Tour. <laughs> a lot of Europeans played together. Yeah, and it's uh, here we go. Two more balls to make it to the World Nine Ball Championships. And the final beckons for Niels, the Terminator Feyen. There it is. Yeah, he salutes his fans. There are some in here. And Elmer is up behind him. He don't even know. <laughs> so congratulations, Niels and Albin. Unlucky Elmer and Yul Lung. But we'll be back at 5 o'clock local time for the final. Thank you very much, Stefan, for being with us. Thanks, David. And thank you all at home. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Coming up in one more hour is the final of the World Nine Ball Championships. Goodbye for now. Bye.